Hey, this is Chris Barnes with Beef and Barnsey Real Talk Bar Reviews, this time with the Supernova. This heavy oil ball is a monster, and we're going to bowl a full game with it, and at the end, we're going to compare it to a gem and a shiny Nova so you can see where it fits within your arsenal. Bias, this is a five and a quarter by five by about two and a half layout in the Storm LS system. It's got the NAX solid cover, so this ball can handle a lot of heavy oil for sure. There you go. Heavy oil ball, not necessarily a heavy oil pattern. Uh oh. So here at AMF Louisville, we have about a 25 to 30 year old HPL pattern or uh, surface that's got a lot of wear and tear on it. Uh, we use current oil and about 28 mils. And you can tell this one really digs in the tracks. And if you watch some of our other previous reviews, like the Cosmos or the Night Road on this same pair, you can see how those balls saved a lot more energy. This ball is really meant for heavy oil. So this is going to be better on these house patterns for players that are a little bit more speed dominant, maybe a little bit lower, more axis rotation. So for me here, I'll probably try and keep it a little bit more in the oil so it saves a little bit more energy like that. Might even add a little more rotation so you can see how it does with a little more shape. It comes at 2000 is the cover stock. So even though it's a big oil ball, it's not super dull right out of the box. There's a little more rotation. You see it saved energy a little bit better. been a bunch of new balls out right now, like the Proton, the Reality. There's some pretty heavy competition in this area. Whoa, that's way in. The more oil it sees, the better it looks. <laughs> okay, I need not to miss because I don't have a spare ball down here, so... Uh... Trying to use a Nova as a spare ball is not, that's a bold strategy. There's a big wheel one. I think this where this ball might actually fit in a little better. This is a little more like a reality in that uh, it does seem to keep coming. Uh, not quite as early. And whether that's the finish of that 2000 or just a little darker color than say the Proton. Uh, it seems like it has a little more continuation for me. Not so bad. We're going to shoot spares like a left hander now. Ah. <sighs> Getting old to bowl these games in a row like this, I don't know. So, evidently, it doesn't have any problems soaking up oil. We're already going to have to move a little left. And that was not enough. I needed a two handed move left, not a one handed move left. That was only one. Should have moved two. More strikes is less shots. Well, I just keep moving left and keep sucking more. Off the, not a bad thing in general, but uh, it's a little more continuation than I'm used to seeing out of some of the bigger heavy oil balls. So the ball does have some potential.
that was kind of dirty. So I'll throw in a little slower here and we'll get an idea what it looks like. Too slow. That was way slow. Nice finish. Well, through no fault of uh, the ball, actually. Two teen. But uh, now we'll throw it up against a couple other balls. And the first one will be just the regular shiny Nova. And this is almost identical drilling, about a quarter inch stronger, closer to PAP, five by five by uh, maybe three or so. And this is a ball I've used a little bit in league and on some patterns where the front's hooked a little bit because it doesn't change directions quite so fast in the front. You see quite a bit cleaner, but still kind of the same type of, of shape down lane as the Supernova. The Supernova, obviously, I could be much further left with probably three to four further left. Now, the other ball I want to try with is a gem. Now, the pin is actually in, in this uh, middle finger which puts it right around five and a half for me. Uh, that makes it five and a half by five by probably four. And you can really see that one get forward. And that probably makes sense because I like the gem as my heaviest oil ball, more control, where I think this supernova is gonna slot in it's kind of a heavy angular ball. It's where I've had a, a reality at times as well. And so uh, I think those balls kind of play off each other a little bit. And then uh, the Nova is a ball down underneath that. Now, probably two balls underneath that with an infinite physics in between those as a kind of a medium heavy oil with more angle and more save. So uh, that is the Supernova from Storm. NEX solid cover, 249-052-019 uh, intermediate diff. And uh, it's coming soon to a pro shop near you. Check out Beef and Barnsey for more Real Talk Ball reviews, and we'll see you next time.